going on guys? James here with the end of the Durham Video Game Convention here for uh, spring of 2019. Uh, it's unfortunate, my opening footage shot that I did, completely unusable. I know my mic did not grab it properly at all. Um, I just literally cannot use that footage. So yeah, right now uh, we are just winding down for the end of the day, but uh, this is going to be the start of the video so uh we'll go from there i'll give you guys a bit of a show from or sorry a bit of a footage of from the show and then from there we'll uh take this on back into the nerd layer and i will show you what i grabbed for the day What's going on there, Justin? Oh, not much. Uh, show's just winding down. We had a uh, very fantastic show. The weather was absolutely beautiful today. It's the very first show we had nice weather. It rained every other show. Oh, for sure. It was it was fantastic uh, turnout today. And would you say that it was like probably one of the busiest that we've had? In it terms was of one of. It wasn't our highest number. It was one of the busier shows. Um, but people were staying for much longer than usual. I think it was the nice weather. People, it was a really great vibe. It's a really good energy in the room today. Um, a lot of people participate in the tournament. I think we had three times our normal turnout in the tournament alone. It's actually still running and the show's over. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and, and me personally, I found uh, a great number of deals today than oh, I found at any here. any of your other past shows. I've actually bought more stuff today than I have at any at, of the other at ones. This at this one. specific one. Okay, yeah. it was the nice weather. It brought yeah. out the good games. It was really great. And the vendors were very uh, very easy to work with. Everybody was in a great yeah. mood today. It was, yeah, everybody it was, was yeah. in a great mood today. Very, very easy Show, to work with. Shows like this are why I do this. No, it's really Really great. I really appreciate your time today. Yeah, no problem. Right, Thanks a lot, dude. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. All right, so I am back from the show. Unfortunately, this is a little bit of period of time past, uh, but better late than never. So let's get on into the pickups, even though this isn't the exact same day of me getting home. Uh, the first two here were $30 total. I uh, swung a deal for Space Invaders 91 on the Genesis. I can get the camera to focus on there. There we go. Pretty nice shape overall. And to go along with that, Arrow the Acrobat 2. So two Genesis titles for 30 bucks. Uh, between the two, I got, you know, five bucks off between the bundle. Not bad though, I don't see uh, uh, Arrow the Acrobat 2 too often, to be honest with you. So uh, I think I did okay with the two of them. And Space Invaders, I mean, come on, everyone loves Space Invaders. Alrighty, moving on next. We have Ikari 3, The Rescue on NES. Cartridge is a little, little uh, marked up here and whatnot. Uh, you can see some uh, black marker and that kind of thing. So a little bit dinged up, but overall the label is in really nice shape. And I think I can clean this up pretty good. Um, it says 22 and I got it for 15. So, you know, after a little bit of a cleanup, this thing will be a pretty decent grab for 15 bucks. And at the same table, I was like, found something that I surprisingly didn't already own. And I said to the guy, just threw it out there. I'm like, dude, would you do like five bucks on this? And he's super generous. Uh, he had 15 on it. And I'm like, like I said, I threw him an offer of five bucks because I just bought a game. So 20 bucks between the two and Pilot Wings. For the Super Nintendo, which I'm honestly surprised I didn't already own this. It's been on the grab list for a while. So yeah, those are the next two. $20 grab. Next one here is uh, Test Drive 6. And this one actually isn't for me. This is for Mike of the Retrolectors. I'll be sending this off to him soon as possible. 
pretty darn good shape. I sent him a photo uh, of the disc and everything while I was standing at the table, and he wrote back, you know, see what you can do for me on the price. Asking 10, if I could get this freaking camera to... Whatever, just trust me, it says 10 bucks. I ended up getting it for five, so that's all right, so half price on that one. And on the uh, same table, I said, you know what? I'm intrigued, but I'm not intrigued unless it's super, super cheap. Uh, complete in box copy of Winter Olympics. Uh, Lily Hammer 94 for the uh, Sega Genesis. And completely complete, like 100%. So beautiful condition. It almost looks like someone opened it and then never even tossed it in the console. It's absolutely pristine. And I'm like, you know what? For a buck? I, ca I can deal with that for a buck for a sports game. They're already pretty cheap at three. Again, if I can get the stupid camera. Ah, the lighting in here sucks today. Anyways, three bucks is labeled on the cartridge. I offered a buck because I'd already bought the Test Drive 6. I'm like, yeah, you know, for a buck, take it. I'm like, for a complete in box game, I, I really don't care what it is. For a buck, I'm going to grab it. Alrighty, and lastly, I have Dead Island Definitive Collection. I've never played any of the Dead Island games. It's been on my want list for a while, actually. I just kind of neglected to get in on the uh, the price of admission when it was relevant, like still new on shelves. So to get both of them, this is apparently both games on one disc. Pretty good deal right there. Uh, for 15 bucks, this was actually bought from the vendor that runs the show itself. And I felt it was pretty reasonable. Xbox One title, two full games. Um, I'm assuming there's probably been some remastering or some sort of deal if uh I don't, I don't even know what consoles these originally premiered on but i imagine they it's got all like whatever dlc and everything thrown in they, these packages normally do and beyond that it also has a uh, dead island retro revenge so it's got a third sort of mini game sort of title on there if i can yeah Horrible day for focusing. Anyways, it's at the top there. Dead Island uh, Retro Revenge. That, that was actually the most intriguing of them all because it's got like a uh, sort of Super Nintendo feel to it just looking at the art. So I'm like, I'm going to buy it for that anyways. And then getting both Dead Island games as well on top that I can go through. And like I said, for this is like five bucks a piece at this point between the retro throwback title and the, uh, the other two. Five bucks a piece all on one disc. I'm happy with that. Anyways, that is my grabs for the Durham Video Game Convention this time around. I will catch you next time.